It looks as if voting has already started, but this was a mock caucus held last week in the Ayora town of Des Moines. But it's time to dream big and fight hard. Just like in the actual event, supporters representing different candidates took to the stage for one final push. You got to convince your neighbors, your um, your precinct members, why your candidate is the best. You got to form your your group. The Iowa caucuses are the first time voters in the United States get up and say who they want to be president. Unlike in a primary, people don't just cast their ballots. They have hours of conversation and a vote. First, they stand in an area designated for their chosen candidate. If that person doesn't get the minimum 15% of the vote to get past the precinct, they can shift their support to another candidate and intense lobbying ensues. It's not a secret ballot. You're actually there literally with your neighbors. They can try to persuade you. They can try to offer you incentives to come over their way. We've seen candidates who are polling at 12% and got 20% and the reverse. It's actually very common there. Not only is it the nation's first, but the vote here has traditionally been seen as an early bellwether for the national race. Since 1972, nine out of 12 Democratic candidates who won the Iowa caucuses went on to become the party's nominee for president. People who do well here typically do, be, do well throughout the rest of the process. They can talk to large groups of people, they can talk to small groups of people. They have a strong message, they have a strong organization. And that propels them on to victories later on down the process, and it propels them, in a lot of cases, to the White House. There have also been controversies. After a very close contest between Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders in 2016, the Democratic Party changed rules to make the caucus system more transparent. This year, three sets of results will be reported.